Each person has preferences. When someone produces something that another person wants, he can exchange that for money. Now, ignoring the fraudulent nature of a fiat monetary system for now, this money is representative of the product of people's labor. Each dollar can also be seen as one unit of subjective value because when someone produced something and that the product of their labor was valued, they got that dollar. They got that unit of subjective value. And so different products cost different amounts of subjective value represented by the dollars. When a thief tries to steal your money, he is trying to steal that which you value. He is saying, I am going to take the product of your labor and apply it to that which I value instead of that which you value. For example, you may value a hamburger that you get to eat, while a thief may prefer a hamburger that he gets to eat. When someone votes in an election, they are trying to acquire something that they could not get through either their own production or through exchange with others. If they vote to tax a person, that is if they are 99% of all voters, they are identical to the thief in this regard. The voter, through his vote for Obama or McCain, is saying, I value certain things, I value certain services, and I want the product of the labor of others to be directed toward that which I value instead of that which they value. And if they don't like it and refuse to pay their taxes, they will be thrown into an internment camp. And if they resist being thrown into an internment camp, they will be killed. That is democracy. Democracy is not civilized. It is not enlightened. Democracy is barbarism. It is de-civilization. It is anti-civilization. It is primitive and it is brutish. Civilization, I define it, is a certain standard of living and it's totally subjective and arbitrary and it is created by an increase of capital these tools which allow for the production of goods and services and free up labor for people to provide other services and do other things. Democracy allows for the mob to just raise their hands and decide that people who provide subjective value should be forced to work for what the mob values instead of what they value. The result is lower productivity and less buildup of capital because those who produce capital aren't allowed to keep it. And in extreme cases of democracy, such as in the area commonly referred to as the United States today, there, is a, there can be a relative decline in the capital stock. Democracy short circuits rational cost-benefit analysis and makes productive work less and less valuable because of the violent theft that comes from the elections. It causes a return to the behavior of people before capital was built. Now, democracy will eventually beat out the oligarchies. The validity of the oligarch, just like the validity of the election, is just an idea. And religion is becoming a weaker and weaker justification for anything, even in these Muslim areas. And so the idea of a divinely sanctioned oligarch is becoming less and less tenable in Iran. But the mythology that the elections somehow represent the people in a meaningful way is becoming a stronger and stronger faith in Iran. Democracy is claimed by its proponents to be of, by, and for the people in kind of a singular platonic sense. It is an ideology to justify mob violence and theft in a sophisticated and slightly detached form. It's the next barbaric fantasy. It's one that is more advanced and more difficult to discredit than the oligarchy. Because by opposing democracy, you can be painted as an oligarch. Now, authoritarians love democracy. The Bolsheviks, the Jacobins, the National Socialists, the Obama cultists. The predominant cloak of the authoritarian today is as a man of the people. Whenever anyone talks about democracy, equality, fairness, tolerance, anything having to do with the good of or duty of society, one of these platonic bugaboos, that person who talks about th these things and talks in these terms is probably an authoritarian. Those are the words of modern barbarism. So stop worrying about democracy. You live in a world surrounded by mystics, and democracy is the next big mystic cult. It is extremely aggressive and not benign or neutral in the slightest. Even if they do it with a smile, and the violence is chronologically and geographically detached from the polling station. 
and those beautiful visions barbarians have about a democratic state are no different than the beautiful visions barbarians have about an Islamic state. It's all just primitive, uncivilized brutality.